Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. In today's video, I thought I would take you along with me as I redecorate my room and just sort it out. Now, my room is not a mess. I put a lot of work into making this room what I want it to be, but recently I decided to change things up. I moved my desk out of my room because I just want my room to be a place of rest, relaxation and good vibes because I want to be able to sleep as well as I possibly can. Um, that means, however, I've messed everything up and I need some storage for my makeup and my getting ready station. I love makeup, as you know, or may not know, I do. I enjoy getting ready and I just wanna be able to do so in peace. And my makeup desk has all, it's never even been a makeup desk, to be honest. My dressing table has always just been a mess. It's always been a mess throughout my life. And I want for once to just have a clear dressing table that isn't covered with makeup, well, it's probably still going to be stained with makeup, but you know what I mean? It's not like disorganized and messy, it's just clear space. I've been loving visual minimalism recently, meaning that I like to not be able to see stuff. I like stuff to be put away, you know, no things on the side in the kitchen, that kind of vibe. So I'll show you what it's like now. Again, it's not terrible. I'm really grateful. I really love it, but it's just literally just a bit messy. Um, and then we're going to go to Ikea. Ah! love ikea and a few other shops to pick up some bits and bobs i don't know how much i'll film in the shops because i really can't be bothered with that but anyway i thought it'd be fun to show you so this is what my room is like now um i'm really grateful for it it's super spacey um it's got like the storage thing that corner i'm pretty much happy with kind of want to swap that lamp out for something prettier but i think that might just be me wanting to spend money um but i'm pretty happy with everything apart from this corner <laughs> this corner um I need a smaller frame, a prettier smaller frame for that beautiful piece of artwork that my mum got me. Um, I want storage for all my makeup, it's a mess I know, um, but I want it to just be like a storage unit there that I can set up and just put everything away and yeah just have some space. I also have decided I don't like bins that don't close anymore. I do not want those bins anymore. I want one that closes because I hate seeing rubbish <laughs> in the bin. Um, but yeah, that's my room. Okay, I just changed my top because the last one made me feel like I was on my way to do some manual labor and I wasn't really feeling that vibe. So I've put on this one, which is honestly a whole lot sluttier and more revealing, but I feel good. So come see my nipples. Hey ho, people are just gonna have to deal with it in Ikea. Um, I still think it's the weirdest thing that women's nipples are sexualized. Like, our nipples are the most practical. They're the only practical ones. If anything, men's nipples are the ones that are only there for one purpose. Whereas ours are literally life-giving. Why do we have to hide them all the time? So yeah, I'm going for this braless strappy number. Um, I feel like I'll be okay. I think I can get away with this. It's still summer. The best way to get away with anything is to ask forgiveness, not permission. So just do it. It'll probably be fine. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's crazy how just changing your outfit can make you feel so much better. Just taking out the trash on my way down. Meh. Please ignore the keep calm and carry on thing. Um, it's just what the only ones they had the last time I got my car cleaned. Okay, no judgment. This place has become like a second home in here so often. I love this, like one of these would be perfect. I really feel like that would be perfect. It's super stable. And then I'd have the pull out one, so just the half would be absolutely perfect. But it's 280 pounds. I wonder if that's for both of them. Ah, yes, that's for two, so it's 140 for one. Oh, maybe, baby, maybe. What 
What about this one, guys? I think it might be the one. It's the right height, the right, right width. It looks pretty simple-ish to assemble. Go for that one, you guys. I'm home. Let me bring you down to my level. Do you want to see what I bought? I'll show you what I bought. Ugh, let me just move everything out of the way. So first of all, I got this frame from Ikea, which I like because it's gold, but like a rustic gold. So I'm going to use that to replace um, the old broken frame that I currently have. That beautiful piece of artwork that my mum got me in. So that's one thing. I'm kind of hung hungry, by the way, you guys. I was so thirsty and hungry. Then I got this makeup brush holder. I decided that that's the only thing I want like out on my desk and my makeup brushes. So I got this from Home, Sen Home Sense. I really like Home Sense. I find some good stuff in there. It's not like the world's best quality, but like it'll do. Um, it was $7.99. I hate when they put stickers on the actual product and it's not like a clean off in one but this one seems pretty clean relatively clean here we go there we go so a nice glass well not glass plastic brush holder this was ridiculous i just saw these in home sense they're like little doggy um handles for when you've got like a door handle so i figured the thing that i just bought the storage unit i could use these but they only had a pack of four in like the rustic gold and i thought the rustic gold oh my gosh perfect match gorgeous you guys i would love to be an interior designer that would be so much fun um i got a plant pot which you can't see <laughs> so I'll open that but just this gorgeous like pale pink i really am so keen to add some pinks to my room but i'm not confident in doing it well so i thought this could be a little teaser i'll put this out see how i feel about it and um, i almost bought like a little pink throw but i just thought no 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 that's too much um, but yeah, I would just love a few, like, a little bit more colour in the room. I've got, like, the browns, the rustic woods, but just a few pastels, I think, would really hit the spot. I think I also got the same, this was not intentional, but, like, the same shape pot, but in blue. Don't love this, but I'd looked around for so long, I just thought, just buy one, Sarah, because the pot in the living room um, is just, there's, one of the plants doesn't have a pot, and I'm currently leaving it in a bowl and I really don't like that so whatever I got this don't love it but chances are I'll end up returning it because when I buy stuff I don't love it's never great although plant pots I can ignore I can kind of ignore when I hate a plant pot and then I got oh I should have got two oh. do you know what it's okay I don't need a bin on this side I can just not be lazy and get it but anyway I got a soft top bin with a lid so I don't have to see or smell any rubbish because of the door because the doggy ones the little cute I love dogs I want a dog so much because the doggy ones don't have enough I got these door handles so that I could interchange them or maybe I'll just stick with the black and take that back I don't know either way I thought because I needed six but they're only packs of four so I just got two different ones and we'll swap it up could look a bit unique and vintage and then last but not least is this mm, gorgeous strongly scented candle from next and look at look how oh my gosh i feel like this color is the color that i love for my eyeshadow to be or my makeup like this is the color of my skin tone this is what this is just everything how gorgeous is that and it smells so good i wish you could smell it i'll try and find it online and link it below it's a three wick fragrance candle what i love about this is that i don't think i'm gonna have to light it that much because it just smells so so good as it is now 
I would really love to set up that desk tonight, but I'm on, like time is running away from me. It is, it's 20 past seven um, and I really want to do some exercise. In fact, maybe I'll just go for a run now. I don't want to go for a run though. There's so many people out there and I can't be bothered dodging. Do you know what? I'm going to go to the gym just downstairs. So there's a gym in my building, which is ridiculous that I pay for a gym membership and there's a gym in my building. But I'm going to go and do a really quick, like, 20 minute hit circuit. I'll show you when I'm setting everything up and when we're back in motion. Bye. Good morning, friends. Um, so when I was doing the decorating the other day, I did not finish. I was so, so tired. I was like, I'm just going to go to bed. Um, and then I had a 24 hour shift the next day. I'm post nights today, so it's about 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. I worked a 24 hour shift yesterday, finishing at 8 a.m. this morning. And now I'm ready to decorate. I want my room to be finished, finally. So I'm just gonna put on some music and crack through it. I'm gonna set up the drawer by there. I'm gonna try and clean everything and just get this place into a livable space. So fun fact about me is that even though I'm like, you know, this strong independent woman, I hate doing stuff like this. <laughs> like I honestly would happily hire a handyman to do all of this stuff just all of it but I'm really trying to be better you know and just do things myself because I hired a handyman to do pretty much everything around the flat and it cost a lot of money and so I'm like Sarah you can do this you can do manual labor even though it says in the name manual labor anyway so what I did was I filled a couple of holes on the wall from where a shelf had fallen down and I painted all the bad stuff look at me reading the manual you guys that is a natural reaction to the hieroglyphics of an Ikea manual like what is that stuff it was so hard it wasn't even that hard it was actually really straightforward but it was just like the emotional intellectual energy that it took and also I did something wrong I feel like I put the backdrop on back to front or something so it was like brown on the wrong side where it should have been white or something went wrong <laughs> just laughing at my face in the mirror anyway something went wrong and I had to take the thing apart and start again so that was very stressful another thing that I realized only after setting it up is that even though I'd gone to Ikea chosen the unit gone to the area that it said I should pick up the unit this unit was actually slightly different than what I had wanted so instead of being three pull out drawers like I showed you in the shop it was actually like a cupboard that opens up um, which was super duper annoying and not what I wanted um, so as you can see there it only needed two handles right because it's not pull out drawers it's just something you open up which is okay aesthetically but practically it's just it wasn't what I wanted but there was no way absolutely no way that I was about to take it all down to return it like absolutely not no 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 chance so whatever we're just gonna deal with that and pretend it's what I wanted um, in terms of decorating this area, I rearranged this so many times. I can't even remember what I settled on. Um, my room's been finished for quite a while, as you can tell. I'm editing this and it is no longer summer. Um, but yeah, I changed things around quite a bit until I got the look that I wanted. And I think I still, like, every now and then just rearranged the items. And then, oh, this was life-changing. I basically cleaned all of my makeup stuff. I know that sounds really not that deep, but... If you are tired of your makeup, just wipe everything down and realize that it's actually not that bad. It's pretty decent stuff. So yeah, I wiped everything down, rearranged everything, threw away stuff that just I was never going to use or it was running out. I have this weird habit of never throwing away a mascara, even when it's empty. And voila, here's the finished product. Um, this is the room at night, so with the candles lit and the lamp on, it's super cozy and I really do love it. I'm so, so grateful. I love the makeup corner um, and it just feels really spacey, like it's not overwhelming, it doesn't stress me out. I can come into this room and just feel restful, you know, not stressed or busy because it's not too busy visually. Um, so yeah, that's my little reading corner. I mean, I call it a reading corner. I usually just sit there and people watch or watch the water. 
um but that chair is so so comfy if you want like a full room tour of all the items and where i got the furniture because i bought um a lot of the furniture myself then let me know but the main focus of this video is this corner so i've got the plants i've got the picture that's a little um jewelry holder on the left there that i use don't love it but for whatever reason i spent like 60 quid on it from amazon which was just one of my worst buys ever so gonna get most of that um, and yeah, this is the finished product. That's it with just the candles on because even though it doesn't show well on video, this is how I spend most of my evenings. And the reason that no reading gets done is because I'd rather sit in a cozy dark room <laughs> than put the light on and actually read what I'm supposed to be reading. And here it is in the daytime. So the whole um, makeup corner has worked really well because everything stays clean um, so you've got the plug there so I can plug in all of my like hair dryers straighteners everything like that but I can also put it all away as well so it looks really clear on a day-to-day -day basis um, but when I need the stuff it is all in the cupboard and I can just get it out and everything's really organized I find that one thing that really helped me with being a tidier person over the last few years is getting rid of stuff that I just don't need and don't use so I realized that if you have no stuff you can't have a mess right if you if there's nothing in a room it can't be messy because there's nothing to create mess so by getting rid of a lot of the stuff that I just didn't use it was so much easier to keep my room and space tidy the way that I want it and the other thing was making sure that everything has a place where it goes back to so by taking the time to organize everything and give everything a home it's so much easier to tidy up because instead of just trying to fit everything somewhere i know that everything's got a place oh my gosh the doggy door handles are my favorite thing they're so cute not gonna lie they started rusting a bit but that's okay because i've got four of them so i'm gonna change them over but they're super super cute i love them and um, so this is the inside so i've got my makeup at the top there and i can easily just take out that tray of makeup and put it on the desk when I want to use it all my eyeshadows on the left and I've got all my tools in the second drawer and then I've got like hair clips hair bobbles and whatnot on the bottom I've got all my brushes here this was before I washed them but once I washed them they looked a lot cuter as well and yeah that's pretty much my room you guys <clears throat> excuse me thank you so much for watching this video uh as you can tell this is a one take voiceover i do not record these twice so apologies if i've rambled yeah if you want a full uh bedroom tour with all the details on where i got all my furniture um or oh here's a little snippet of the bathroom i redecorated it kind of the other day and i like it i mean i didn't do a huge amount apart from get those cabinets put in do the little corner with the towels and the plants and stuff so it's not that amazing but it's so much better than it was especially in terms of storage but still a work in progress anyway if you want like a full-on detailed tour of my flat in london then let me know and i will happily do it what is with this recording skill sarah oh my goodness this is so dodge i need to edit this better anyway i'm gonna stop talking thank you so much for watching leave me a comment letting me know what you think i love you guys so much and i've missed you i miss you so much i don't want to make promises that i break about being better at youtube but but i'll try okay love you bye